Hello, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. So, in between episodes, I have emptied out my inventory. I uh, went ahead and rested to get rid of the exhausted Moodle. But I have not yet gotten food, so let's go ahead and work on some food. I think I actually might have some stuff that I could just eat. Like, those burgers are just gonna sit there and go bad if I don't eat them pie slice the same way. You know, there's just a bunch of stuff that you can just eat you know, as it is. Like, yeah, let's go ahead and eat the burger. There we go. We have just eaten ourselves a burger. Boom. We're good. Alright, so it sounds like it's raining out. I think what I'm going to do is be a little cheeky here and grab these saucepans. Probably grab the rest of these, any other saucepans I have as well. There's two. I am not sure. Ugh. And again, I apologize. I am, you know, this is pretty much immediately following the last episode. I am still not uh, feeling the greatest. Alright, that seems to be all the saucepans I got. I'm going to come out here. And I don't know how I can do this. Let's see. Placed on ground. So, drop all. Saucepan with water. Look at that. They're slowly filling with water. We'll just do that. Um, I think, in fact, that I have some empty something or other. Oh, come on. Buckets. Buckets will do. Um, okay. I guess just the buckets. We'll come over to the same tile here. And we will drop all the buckets. Uh, all of that stuff has water, so that's good. Alright. Just a, another way to collect a little bit of water. Yes, we have our water collector, but only so much we're going to do with that. Alright, so we're going to go check our traps real quick. I should have grabbed some worms, but I guess I'm going to go foraging instead. <coughs> Hopefully the... Uh, foraging respawned. I seem to recall going on a bit of a foraging spree not too long ago. Oh, thunderstorm. Wonderful. Let's just see if we can't uh, luck out a little bit. Well, that's a loud noise. Looking over at my uh, recording, that's thunder is about as loud as my voice. Alright. Let's go check our traps. Get our cooking skill up a little bit since we just, you know, avoided cooking. Whoa. Oh, I went through a tree. That's why. Alright, check trap. And... Okay, you had your bait taken. Alright, let's forage. We don't want berries. Because I still don't know how to identify berries properly. There's two worms. Good. This will be the only foraging I do this time. Because I don't want to get too tired. We're already getting very wet. Oh, four worms. Alright. Uh, bad bait worm. Bad bait worm. Alright, let's go. We are super wet. Chance of catching cold. Well, let's go ahead and sprint back then. We don't want to catch a cold, so we want to get rid of that moodle as quick as we can. But hey, we just got a ton of bath towels last time. <clears throat> so let's go take care of this. Fortunately, we know we've pretty much killed all the zombies immediately around, so this isn't going to attract any of them. Oh boy. Drenched. Yes, high chance of catching cold. Let's get rid of that. Come on. Oh, look, our light got turned out again. Bath towel. Dry self. And dry self with another one. 
Two towels. It's a two towel job. <coughs> Hat, cough, and wheeze. All right, um, we're still wet. Let's uh, dry ourselves with the third towel. Three towel job. That's just how wet we were. All right, we're down to damp. That'll do. Let's just dump those. There we go. All right. Ooh. Loud noises. Put those worms away. Let's put these twigs away. And let's butcher up this bird. There we go. Man, that is really coming down out there. Hmm, it, not quite late enough to sleep yet, but it is coming down hard enough I don't want to go out. At the very least, our plants are getting watered, although I worry that our carrots are getting overwatered. Carrots require a lot of maintenance if you want to, you know, do them absolutely perfect. <clears throat> For some reason, I don't really understand why that is. I've grown carrots in real life. They're fairly low maintenance. You just gotta keep rabbits away from them, basically. And, you know, other, in, you know, rodents and such that are gonna eat them. Alright. So we still need our better carpentry book. Oh, you know, I haven't retrieved my uh, list yet. I think I see where it fell. But it's not like we're looking at, uh, you know, new books here at the moment, so... I know that I need carpentry, I know that I needed, like, uh, two other books. There were three books on that list. Unfortunately, uh, my roommates decided to open all the windows yesterday, and it was pretty windy, so it blew right off my desk. Alright, how's our water bottle doing? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. We're a high thirst character, so we kind of really got to keep an eye on that. <coughs> Alright, so I was trying to figure out what to do. I could reorganize stuff, but I really don't want to. Ooh, I should actually make sure I don't have any books in here, because I know I just kind of dumped a bunch of stuff. Notebooks. Just do a little bit of organizing here. I know I said that this is boring, and it is. Alright, uh, let's make sure we got that there. Dump all this stuff. And notebook. Oh, all right. Our second shelf is full. Uh, can any of you fit there? No, not really. Okay, I guess back into here with you. All right. So let's 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 give this some thought. I don't want to go out looting because of the heavy rain, and it's also kind of late, so. It would be kind of bad to go doing that now. Um, wouldn't make it very far for one. And, you know, the dark is going to make it harder to see the zombies and such for two. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I don't want to build too much around here. Um, I mean, the rain, you know, is going to prevent me from doing it outside. And I'd have to go outside to get materials anyway. So that's not great. What was that moodle I had just had that just went away? I just noticed it as it went away. Oh well, must not be too important. It went away. Um, yeah, we've just got a little bit of time here. I mean, we don't need to eat, but I suppose I could cook up a meal. Let's cook up a meal just so we can... Uh, oh, we still got some stew. We have a bowl of stew left. Um, let's cook up any something anyway. We don't have a whole lot for stir-fry at the moment, I don't think. Do you do something with that? No, you just eat the pineapple. I can't, like, slice it up. I mean, who eats a whole bloody pineapple? I mean, yeah, I know I could eat, like, a quarter of a pineapple, but... Seriously, you should have to slice the pineapple first. Pizza. See, that's the thing. I've already got so much in here, like, as, like, food ready to eat that I really don't want to just make a whole bunch more. 
Oh, that chicken is no longer considered fresh. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do something with that then. Let's do something with the roasting pan. Let's see what we can do. Oh, create roasted vegetables. Uh, chicken. <laughs> yes, my roasted vegetables. We'll start with chicken. Chicken roasted vegetables. Let's go ahead and add the rest of that chicken in. All right. What else do we got? Mostly meats, it looks like. Got some cabbage and some butter. Wow. This is going to be the best vegetables ever. Uh, butter. Sure. Let's throw the butter in there. Because why not? We can fit two more things in. Let's put in some of this. Well, not necessarily the bird meat. Let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, the salmon is just showing as uncooked. Uh, what else do we got? Fresh frozen... What? Fresh uncooked. Yeah, okay, the rest is still showing fresh. Uh, I guess we'll just add some small bird meat then. We'll add the smallest of the fresh bird meat. Oh, which still left some somehow. Okay. Interesting. I'm not gonna bother with salt and pepper on this. This is... This thing is an atrocity. Alright. Turn that on. Man, that, that's a mess. That is a mess of a meal. I can't wait till we have some more fresh vegetables. Yes, I know, I'm getting bored. Oh, hey. Let's, uh, not do that, huh? Let's not burn the, the atrocity of a meal. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and just eat a little bit of it, and then we'll go to bed. There we go. Good and well fed. Let's go to bed. It's like 9.20. That's going to be late enough. It means we'll be waking up early, but that just means we'll be able to get more done during the day. <coughs> All right. Oh, 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m.? I didn't think I was going to wake up that early. Should have been more tired than that. Here, you know what? Let's use one of these empty notebooks. Grab one. And I think I got a pen around here somewhere. Blue pen. Let's take that. Alright. I don't want to read it. Can I... I should be able to, like, doodle in it or something, shouldn't I? I don't think I've ever needed to do this before. Maybe if I equip it. Maybe if I equip that. Can I then... No? I thought there was a way to, like, write stuff in the notebooks to become less bored. Guess not. Alright, let's re-equip our crowbar. Put this stuff away. Huh, weird. Alright. Um, okay then. I guess we'll, uh, instead, like, read a magazine or something. We've got two magazines. Oh, in that one. Probably have more over here. Here we go. Newspaper. Boredom reduction. Oh, actually, you know what? We still... Right, we've already read that. Gorilla radio. Yeah, I don't need that. Electronics magazine. I have not read that. Let's go ahead and read that. Oh, we don't need that yet. Let's just make sure there isn't anything else that we, uh, are gonna need. I don't see any other magazines that I have. Alright. Let's go ahead and read that. That won't help our boredom, but it'll get that out of the way. There we go, now we've read it. 
Let's see, what else do we got? Nothing terribly interesting, it looks like. Alright, newspaper. Let's grab a newspaper. Let's read a newspaper. Hey, we're no longer bored. That completely consumes the newspaper, though. Like, you can't then suddenly go use it for, you know, starting a fire or something, which you totally would be able to. Alright, what do we got? What do we have? Well, let's go ahead and pop outside a little bit. Let's grab all of these. These are, as you can see, they've got the thing here, they're tainted water. I'm not sure tainted with what, but the thing is, rainwater is usually pretty okay. Alright, yes, we're getting heavy here, I know. Alright, let's go ahead and pop inside. We're gonna walk over to our stove. We're gonna take all of these, pop them into the stove so that we can boil this water, make it not tainted anymore. So, if boiling it is enough to purify it, it must be a biological contaminant. Oh, that's apparently all that'll hold at the moment. Let's, well, let's turn you on. <clears throat> uh, because basically boiling will only kill biological contaminants if there is something else in the water that is not good for you say salt or lead it, boiling it won't do anything to stop that you have to distill it to get rid of that which is basically boil the water capture the steam and recondense the steam into another container that is obviously not what we are doing here so this must be a biological contaminant. Maybe this is how the, like, zombie plague spreads, other than, you know, by scratches and bites. Which I suppose makes a certain amount of sense, because bites are almost, like, I think they're, like, 100% infection rate. So it would, like, live in the saliva. So I could see it living in water, like rainwater and such. It's obviously not airborne. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Those are better. All right, you... Oh, come on. All right, you go there. And you go there. You three are fine. Excellent. You are not... done being sterilized yet? I guess because you're twice as much water? I guess this is fine. I've never, uh... I've never really had to go too much into the sterilizing of water thing. Mostly because I tend to get bored with the game before the water kicks out most times. Alright, come on. We're still waiting on you to boil up. Well, let's go ahead and speed time a little. How about that? Alright, the saucepans are ready. Can the bucket not be boiled? <coughs> that would be interesting. Alright, I really shouldn't do this. But I'm going to walk away from the stove and go put these into here. Or at least as many of them as I can. Okay, so only one of them... Oh, no, I guess... Alright, two of them will not go in. Let's come back and check on this. That is still not ready. All right, I guess maybe we can't uh, sterilize it when it's in a bucket. Or that's a bug, who knows. So I guess we'll just use the water in these buckets for uh, watering our plants when it becomes necessary. We'll let that cool. Uh, we've got this water, however. 
Let's go ahead and dump you in there. Um, let's see if we can't... Can I... Pour into water bottle? There we go. And you still have plenty of water in you. That's good. Alright. You are just not going to boil, so I guess we'll go put you out in back into the uh, farming box, if I can find it. <clears throat> Alright, there you are. Back into the farming box with you. You will be used to refill uh, containers that are intended for spraying our crops. Speaking of crops... Let us check on our crops. Uh, hmm. Verdant? Okay. I'm like, why am I just staring at this info? For no apparent reason. Every so often, you know, you just have a, a bit of a brain fart. Seedling potatoes, seedling potatoes. Where's their young carrots? <coughs> Technically, I could probably harvest those young carrots. I'm not sure, though. I know you don't get much out of them harvesting it too early. And you you can't harvest seedlings. Actually, I'm just curious if it will even give me the option. No, it doesn't, so I guess I couldn't. Um, but So there's going to be like two harvestable states on these, and you really want to wait for the second one. Because the first state you get the, you know, the, the food. The second state, you get the food and the seeds. So, if you want to be able to renew... Yeah, there's our new axe. Nice, isn't it? We're gonna have to do something about that. Actually, I might want to switch out to that so that I can get my blade skill up higher. I've already got two maintenance in it, but my maintenance in blunt is definitely higher. Let's... We'll equip that axe... We'll switch to the axe when we decide to go into the urban area, because we're going to need to kill stuff faster than anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, that'll be the plan. For now, we'll continue to hold on to our crowbar. Um, alright, where are we? We have food. It's 4.30 a.m. Well, might as well go out and continue doing our thing where we are emptying the containers in the surrounding houses. Because otherwise, none of that stuff's going to respawn. Now, I'm going to go to the house that is least likely to end up getting respawn anyway, because it is the closest, and we walk past it all the time. And that one, and I think that'll probably be it, because we're, we're already creeping up on the end of the episode. Actually, this house might be enough to do it, depending on how long this takes. Alright. <sighs> Farming for intermediates. We already have that. Grab the book. Grab the magazines. Maybe the sheet of... Maybe I had that backwards. Maybe the sheet of paper is the one that you can doodle on. Hmm. All right, we don't really need more of this stuff. Get another book. I can't figure out how to use the empty notebook, so through that. Let's see. Don't need half this crap. We'll grab the coffee. Oh look, it's another plastic bag with plastic bags inside it. It amuses me because it's a thing that people do. I'm just amused that the developers put it in the game. Um, alright. Coffee, sure. Regular old light bulb, sure. Plastic bag, we don't need. Oh, no plastic bags in that plastic bag. Tea. Don't need the rest of this. Alright, anything here? No. That's the stairs. That's the bathroom, but it doesn't have anything. Containers in it. 
all right, upstairs. Let's just be cautious. All right. Don't really need that. Come on. Huh. All right. Oh, here we go. I've already read that. I'm not going to grab any more empty notebooks. I'll grab a couple sheets of paper. Worst case scenario, we could use them as kindling. Never mind the fact that, you know, we have got so much, you know, clothing to use as kindling. <coughs> All right. Hack, cough, wheeze again. Pants and CD. We don't need any of that crap. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab the radio. Maybe I can level my electricity skill by disassembling the radios. We'll, we'll, we'll check that out. Because if that's the case, then it gives me a reason to go ahead and grab them. All right. Uh, yeah, we got time. We can go grab, hit that other house. We're just going to cut through the woods here. Not the smartest thing to do, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. And that definitely cut, you know, like probably 20 seconds off the trip. <coughs> okay, that door is just completely gone. Ah, we don't need farming for beginners. We don't need trapping for beginners. Magazine, newspaper. Book and magazines. Oh, boy. Well, we'll grab the water bottle. We don't really need any of the rest of that. Uh, yeah, we don't really need any of this. Nothing in the plastic bag. Nothing, nothing. That's still that. Alright. Saucepan, we'll grab that. Feeling a bit saucy. Haha. -ha. Nothing, nothing. Don't need a bowl. Don't need spoons. Okay. We should have a little here. We're going to grab the radio again, because I want to see if that is, and I might as well grab it since I'm only hitting these two houses. Alright. Um, is there a thing here? No? Okay. Um, Alright. Ooh. I think we have enough bath towels now. Yeah, I think we have enough bath towels. We'll grab some more cotton balls. <coughs> <coughs> My apologies about the cough again. Ugh. All right. Blouse. Under the floor you go. Underwear under the floor you go. It's, oh, oh, we got one more container here. And which has nothing in it. Okay. Ah, one more room. Empty notebook. But we got nails. On the clothes rack, somehow. <laughs> That's weird. Alright. Out we go. We are done with this place. Let's head back to the house and wrap up the episode. Although I kind of want to see if this assembling gets me electronic XP before we're done. Uh, I can run a little long, maybe. Yeah, let's just run back. All right, come on. In there we go. Close the door behind us. Good, good, good. We don't have anything perishable on us this time, although the light keeps getting turned out. All right, let's see if we can disassemble this. Um... Can we even disassemble this? Let's try.
drop it. Okay, now we don't need to drop both of them, but oh well. Alright. I thought I would be able to disassemble these. Apparently not. Okay. Or at least not without certain things in my proper inventory. I thought I had a screwdriver. Where's my screwdriver? I've got two screwdrivers here. Let's grab one of them. Actually, let's put you in this and see if that helps. Aha! Dismantle radio. Alright. Before I do that, let us look at our electrical skill. We have zero XP. Alright, so we're going to dismantle one radio. We have dismantled one radio, and our electrical skill it gave us 1.5 XP. So it does give us XP, it's just a ridiculously low amount. Let's go ahead and dismantle that. There we go. Radio receiver, huh. Yeah, we have 3 XP in electrical now. Wow, that is going to be a pain. And I gotta look up uh, what it is gonna take for me to hook up the generator, because it used to... The last time I actually needed a generator, it just let you hook it up. Like, there was no electrical skill at the time, so... Okay. So we're gonna pause up here. That's gonna do it for this episode. We ran a touch long, but not too much. Uh, whew. So, not a whole lot accomplished today, but just a lot of random little interesting things. Like, who knew you would be able to boil water in a bucket? Either that or I was super impatient and didn't wait long enough. But considering I boiled two batches of water in the saucepan, you know, in the time that I waited, I think that maybe you just can't do it in the saucepan, or in the bucket. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So, until next time, have a good one.